is parabolic. It means that the device that we are doing is not going to be efficient. Now, if we increase the efficacy and we do the quantum well, it means that one dimensional component of the, the, of the electron. In this case, the density of the space and function of the energy will develop a stable behavior. We can have much better, much more efficient laser diode and the technical. And if we increase the photolithography at the same time, we can make a artificial molecule or quantum wire, an artificial atom or quantum dots. In this case, the density of the state has function of energy, as we can see, is quantized. So the quantum, the quantum dots or artificial atom can be really that is the basic building block of artificial molecule, and at the same time is the very important for the quantum computing that I'm not going to take detail of that. And at the same time, the quantum dots will be used for the quantum to an artificial molecule, or at the same time, the quantum wire, and then we can make artificial active material, we can do normal sensor, at the same time, normal machine, a smart material that can change again, adjust the viscosity, density, etc. So, it sounds like the people who are on Zoom cannot hear us. Well, ask them if they can hear us. People on Zoom, can you hear us? device that I mentioned will be involved in all areas of human life trying to improve the functionality of its body and mind. The need of each individual in the society, from food, energy, transportation, communication, entertainment, health, etc., exploration of space, and under the ocean needs provide the three active semiconductor, lasers, detector, and transistor. So for some of you, exactly, especially for the student, that I was started by the, I was interested by atom exactly to do the nuclear, the nuclear physics for the undergraduate, and to do the neutron activation analysis and gamma spectroscopy for the trace element in the cigarette. And at the same time, the Want and to correlate with the problem of the cancer and human health. But unfortunately, I had a high dose of the radioactivity and they forbid me to continue. So I went to France and in the, the very prestigious laboratory that my professor was the very well known in the world for the crystallography and he was the great scientist, I started to do the phase transition in the lead phosphate that the least is a kind of perovskite, and using the permanganatic ions such as the gadolinium, europium, magnesium, and by the electron speed resonance, prop the phase transition, and at the same time, to do the calculation of the crystal field. So that it was very, very interesting physics. By the way, Muller got the Nobel Prize that they were working on the again, phase transition, but everybody asking, what is the application? So after my science doctorate at Oxford University, side by side, it was the central lab, the central the, the, the lab of the Thomson CSF that it was very prestigious and competing at the same time with the Bell Lab at the time. So what I did, I tried to become at the time for the student. I will tell you, I didn't know even what does mean semiconductor. I didn't know what does mean epitaxy and reactor for me, but with atomic reactor. But I had a great background of the, the, the physics and the nuclear and, and the nuclear physics, but I had a passion for the lasers and detector semiconductor laser to say that all the tiny particle can give the light up. So at the time it was very important for the telecommunication, for the two system was very important, and I tried to stop all of these three parts of the 
using the Descartes law and to calculate, and it was the first thing that I did, and in this system is very interesting because there are two systems for the telecommunication. It was very important. Terminate, quaternary allows on indio phosphorus substrate for the one which we want for microdensing that only liquid phase epitaxy, they, they, they're doing the liquid phase epitaxy, the European, Japanese, and at the same time, American, and that has the problem that it was not easy to make the, 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 the DFT or the T layers or the quantum structure. And the other technique, it was all of the binary, ternary, containing on the gallium astronaut subject. The gallium astronaut, gallium aluminum astronaut, this red part that you can see, it was very interesting because when you change the alloys, you can change the lattice parameter and then you can change the energy gap, but lattice parameter is exactly the same. So it was the simplest system with the MBE everywhere in the world they were doing, and we have some exactly great scientists here, and the boats from, from Bella and the Seto, and from the here, here Professor Jim Harris, that everybody was doing and they learned a lot. But they got a big problem because that due to the problem of aluminum and the problem that I'm not going to the detail, that it was not reliable neither for laser or for high pop. What I did, I came with the aluminum brief and I developed this system. And by that, it changed, I published immediately in Nature and at the same time, that is come the price of the high power laser from the 1,000 per watt came down to the $1 and less than that per watt. Because the no degradation and the lifetime, it was very, very stable. On the other hand, for 1.3, 1.5 micron, as you can see, I tried to do all of this quantum extraction, and that is the first super lattice in Indo-Phosphate Gallium in the Maxonaut that I developed. And for you, to understand that, during the maybe 10 years, Tom's <coughs> at the it, they were selling 1.3, 1.5 micron, and all of this. And that, in the other places, it was in research. So, in the 1988, it was the conference of the MOCBT in Japan, in Hakone, and that they invited me as a keynote speaker, and they said that, it, as you can see here, in a keynote address, Dr. Hazidi Otlam, the sheer diversity and potential of MODP with the catalog of first new material, highest mobility, sharpest interface, and new devices. And one delegate described Dr. Hazidi as a Madonna of MODP in her growth south of Paris, producing material miracle. And that, so it was, I was only one again in the board to be able to do exactly using this technique of emotivity that we didn't know here, what is that, and to do that. So everywhere they wanted me, especially that it was because that's SPOE. SPOE came for the first time in France, and I had the exploratory material lab, and they asked me to organize the conference. That is the first SPOE conference, and in this conference, I invited again all of my a great Nobel Prize and all of the people that they were involved exactly at the, for the of the electronic quantum debate. Pierre Egrin, he was the, the minister of the science and he was the one that at the, when he was at the MIT, he gave the ideas of the electron semiconductor for the laser. And it's the Guinness book at the same time. So that you can read that here, said that the impact of semiconductor of optoelectronic technology that I'll ask him, but it's very interesting because he said that he's looking on the beautiful program of this conference. He said that I do a prediction, and his prediction was, said that I'm 66 now, in 50 years I'm not more in this world if my prediction is wrong, that they laugh and they fun of me. I say that, there is a still a very good chance that some is going to totally be one of the important bases of population order. And I will tell you to all of the young uh, students, all of you, this material that I'm explaining to you, this three part that I'm explaining, it was, it is, and is continuing forever, for 30, 40, 50 years, is going always to be 
the major material for the operation. So now it was, of course, that they, 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 they did a lot of publicity for that, and they interviewed at the same time one obvious, and that is on the uh, YouTube. And if you li listen to my talk, it didn't change what comparison to today, and I believe that it's going to be, after I'm not born in this world, it's going to be the same. Now, many places they wanted me, and that I choose to leave France and to go to Northwestern and in Chicago and to become professor at Northwestern, where they promised me to have the opportunity to build my own facility from scratch to pursue the groundbreaking science. This facility is the Center for Quantum Device that I develop, I, I build it from scratch, and that is the multidisciplinary, and that has the, the goals, material and the device science that rapid transition from concept, exactly here, from the concept to the technology, the demonstration. And beside of the, the the result of the, the first class facility, I also they build very a strong scientific the educational basis, created the soil state engineering and all of that, and all of the, the textbook in order to transfer the technology for the other next generation. But you have to know one thing. This book of the fourth ed uh, the edition of the fundamental science and engineering that the, and at the center of impossibility that the, my book that is hacked by the Russian and by the, 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 the Chinese that is online and I gave to the, the you the, for that and please to forward to everybody because that is interesting and at the same time again there is one thing that is very important that I'm going to, at the end of my talk, to speak about, about the carbon that I did, that I have in my new book about the mystery of carbon that I'm going to speak later. But no, and, and of course, they were out of publicity because they did that, they are told Northwestern to say that that is the highest, highest since the 20 years. But no, I did the inauguration of the center that I started by scratch in the 1993. One and a half years later, with the two Nobel Prize, Lewis Aki and Monkeys. And that here, again, it was with the, again, the, it come to the, with the SBOE that we did, again, the, this meeting, and something that I would love because they have the Bell Labs, again, uh, the professor, the David Miller, that he's from the Bell Lab. Can you come if you can show that?
Now I'm going to explain to you some of the exactly the some of the G5 based semiconductor laser diode from DQV up to terahertz that I developed in atmosphere in my group, thanks to the genius student, of course. Here you have the, some of the board first and best semiconductor diode laser research at security. And we have from the G nitride, that at the end I'm going to explain to you some of the important things, but it's in one of my books, so I'm not going to the detail. For the gallium astronaut, the aluminum free, free 800, 890, all of that is the volume two of the OCVD challenge. I'm not going to the detail again. And for the 1.3, 1.4 micron, is exactly the same thing that it was emotivity. Because four as the publisher, they insisted that I publish the result and it was the IOP. So that is the second uh, the, the second edition that has the votes book. So that I'm not going to the detail of that. But most important for the the inter band the and the infrared for quantum cascade. So that is the here for the student to know that we have two kinds of the laser diode there. But again, all, only I'm speaking about the laser diode because it's laser diode that is changed everything. Okay? It's a small, it's efficient, and that is useful. So we have the interband laser. So in this case, we say that unipolar, the bipolar has the basic of the P-top and N-top, and that the, in, in the interband laser, the, M, the emit light through the recombination of the electron and pole within the active layers, and the wave is related to the conduction band of the active layer material, so we go to G5 material. But if we go to the very long wave this energy gap, it becomes very small. It is a 26 million kilowatt. So in this case, it's the intersub band or the unipolar. And the idea of the intersub band is came from Leo Zorchi. Leo Zorchi at the, in the, at the IBM, the, the, the Yorktown, he tried to be the two, to give the ideas of the superlatives. He got the Nobel Prize for the, uh, the, for the, uh, the tonnet, is not the tonnet, but, but it was, very important uh, superlatives that he gave the ideas and he calculated the minimum transport and at the same time sequential tunneling transport. Later on the year after, it was Kazarinov and Suri that they came to ideas of the possibility of amplification of the electromagnetic phase in a semiconductor with the superlatives. So I am not going to the detail only to say that that is what is the quantum cascade, exactly, if, if you look here, that is exactly the, a small part that we can see here, that is the active layers, and the rest is the copper heat sink that we are using for the, 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 the packaging. And that is the things that I did for the 1.3, 1.4 micro, and I'm using for that. Now, what is, again, we are using the so we could do the three part based on video first part or gallium astronaut exactly these two systems that I explained to you. So we have is based on two things, transport and the tunneling. So we have each part, we have the active layers that and we have at the same time the injector. The active layers, the electron is come from the top to the bottom and at the same time the role of injector is to use and then to collect the used electron from the active layers and to transfer to the next stage. And each stage, we can repeat that. And each electron here, the comb shape that you can see, that is the, but the conduction band of the alternative semiconductor with the difference energy gap. Here, the, 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 the vertical one is the energy, horizontal one is the thickness, the reason that is here because it's under the electric field, and that this big the, the line that you the, the curve that you can see is the calculated the 
they function and they have on the, but for simplicity, all the food that top and the bottom, electron come from the top level to the bottom, and they giving the photon, and this photon is related the baby to the sickness and the composition of the protein. So, as we can see, we can increase the sickness and the, the sickness is multiplied and with the one photon, we can create multi and we can have at the same time a harder problem. But, beauty is the same exactly technology that we use for the endocrine or the endomastron, we can use for the endocrine. So, what we did exactly, again, that the colon 3, colon 4, exactly the G4, binary ternary quaternaries, lattice mash or strain, and after I developed a technique of the gas source molecular remediates. And at the same time to using emotivity for that. I will show you here a real quantum casket. The real here if you go to zoom with the SEM and TA, on the top we have the, the, the gold body on the laser. In here, we have the double channel. Again, technology that you can see that, that the, in the MOCVD channel. And that in the middle here, this white part that you can see is the active layers. And active layers here is <coughs> 1.5 micron thick and 220 exactly period, 20 stage, and each stage, 30 stage. Here is 30 stage, and each stage is the 20 layer, and each layer has one, two, three monotheism. So you have to control the doping to control the sickness, and here, as you can see, is the 600 layer. And if you go opposite of the arrows, that is the material, that's the processing, and that's the, 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 the device, uh, the, the, the device the, the, the packaging. No. It was the March 1997 that we from the from uh, the uh, from DARPA and then from the, uh, the uh, from army that they were paid my group and the group of the Harvard in the in the, in the, in the, the labs and that me for the inter subband interband of the antimonoid pastry for motor and the bell labs for the inter subband quantum casket. They had no result, but it was low temperature and very low power. So they came to me in March. They said, that I want you to make quantum casket. And one of my students, it was in my office with the Steve Strickland. I said that when? He said that end of the year. I said that no, end of the month. What? Because in the reactor that they were making exactly this material for the quick quantum bedding for it, Immediately do the calculation and put that all of the background knowledge that we had for the 1.3, 1.4 micron, and that immediately the month, one month later, the board first room temperature, high power quantum cascade with the the with the gas source molecular taxi, A lot of publicity came on, and since then, during five years, my group was only one in the board to have high power continuous way and exactly with the different way because I was giving to the, 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 to the neighbor research lab to Jerry Mayer. He was measuring, he was going to the, uh, to the government and to the different company to show that and they succeeded to convince DARPA to put the program, but you have to know, at the present time, our group at Northwestern is only one to demonstrate Continuous wave operation from 3 to 11 to a 5 micron. It's the only the group that we have the continuous wave record of 5.7 watt with the 21% watt block efficiency that in continuous wave that not just recently we break it, we have 22% and the record at the same time of the short wave and long wave. And now here, in order that everybody believe, so that we gave is a 2011. We gave this laser, this, uh, this laser to the daylight. And you have to know that, okay, at the present on one billion is go to the neutral of for the quantum casket, 70 million to go to the, the, the daylight. And the many group they are working, and that they measured that 2011, 
the emission that here. Five, five emission that 4.8 watt, the emission for us, 5.67 watts with the one crowd efficiency of the 21 percent in continuous way, the result that you can see still is the unique in the world and nobody can come even here at all. Yeah. So now, here, what happens, some of the interesting thing, the photonic crystal distributed feedback at 4.4 micron, you can have the narrow emitting and at the same time, the narrow, the, 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 the far field and the emitting spectrum. That is, again, the, 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 the unique, that the, the result that I'm showing you everything is only this unique for the best part of the unit. This one is the, and this one, again, that is the 203 watts. The, the angle, the, the, the cavity that I explained to you, that's the work of the student that, from the sample that is receiving uh, that the David uh, Daddy. And that, okay, all of this result is unique. And now I will show you one thing. Because all of the explosive, they have the detection between six to 10 micro. So Homeland Security wanted to have one system that can measure rapidly without to have any external one. So that is the, the try to make the deep quantum cascade from six to 10 micro, exactly as you can see. That's the spectrum. And that make the device at the center of the system. And as you can see, the, 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 the Homeland Security was for the first time they came to Northwestern, and they say that. Northwestern University is the only performer of three to develop a laser as contracted. And the two other, it was the one for the Panalitico Kumar Patel and the, 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 the Federico Capacius Group. Okay, so again, that is the unique. Nobody in the world did succeeded to do, and there are excellent people that are working, but it's very, okay, they, they couldn't. And now, the love testing. Because when you have the device, you have the law of testing is the most important part. So here, as you can see, over one watt at 100 degrees C in continuous way, the, the over cycling, horror cycling every 30 minutes, no degradation. We have many that we are using for the many, two, three years at the same time, no degradation. Because that if you have, if you learn, if you have not the defect and everything is perfect, this kind of laser is for ever. And now, coming very fast to say that here you have the timeline of the Kushier that achieve a security, and then all of the red, they are the, again, the current world, world class, and unfortunately not the some of the new, it becomes the ETR control, and I cannot speak to, to give the result. Now, let's to go to the t 4 phase photon detector. And that is the area that I would like really, and uh, Professor David Miller, I would like to listen and at the same time, because that is become a very important. As I can explain it to you, what is that? Again, using the chip uh, so we go to go, and here exactly chip pod is the ultimate base at the same time. So the first that here you have, the, some of the best and first, uh, the photon detector and, uh, and uh, the focal planaries from the UV up to terrorize at security. So the first thing, okay, is the quantum dots, because I mentioned that, the, because nature is the quantum or also. So that to build that again for the first time in your first one thing, that is the, to do the OCD, that is the quantum dots, one quantum dots, and the area that you can see, we make the quantum very important for the detector quantum dots in for a detector and for the red in the dot for the first time and we make the focal phase in all of them. But what's the problem? It's the very interesting, I'm not going to, because we have the photo with the NRO and the set of, I'm not going to detect it, only to tell you one of the problems is here, the everything spectrum is normal. That you know for the group at the set of, is normal. But 60 billion per year, is going for the non vision for the mercury cadmium telluride that is very <coughs> important. So, what we can do something that compete with the mercury cadmium telluride that is to six and to come exactly to have better performance is the antimonoid base. That is antimonoid base. I would like to attract the attention of everybody. 
here is the energy gap as function of the lattice parameter. Mercury can be of the rod, that's the can be of the rod, mercury can be Perfectly lattice match. But then they come and it can change as function of energy gap to go to the short to up to the long wave. But in the long wave, due to the problem of the mercury that is very large and is moving, is a, there is a problem of stability. So here they make the two detectors for the 14 model. One from the east top to gallium antimonon, indium astronaut, aluminum antimonon, that they are teaching five so we go to the door and we have at the center of the south street core and one from the mercury calculator room. Look at that. Then you change the temperature from 100 to come 20. Mercury calculator room change to 40 micro and 20 micro. But the mercury the, the, the antimonal base doesn't change. So you can imagine what does mean when they use this kind of the focal planners in a space and in the difference they have a different system. So now, what is the top two? That is the something that, again, is developed and then proposed by Leo Dotti. And the back three, here you have energy gap as function of the lattice parameter. In your muscle, the conduction band of in your muscle is the lower energy than balance band of the gallium antimono. So when you put that together, then the electron confined in the indium astronaut and the, the hole confined in the mercury the cathode, the gallium antimonon. It means that that is the top two. But the beauty is exactly if you come to put that in the super lattice, the, in a real space, that is the separation of the electron and hole. But if you go to the reciprocal lattice, the minimum of the production band and the maximum of the balance band is at the center of pre zone is a gamma point. It means that with the managed log A top one. And what is beauty of that? If you put down 18 monolayer of indium astronaut, 18 monolayer gallium antimonon, to do with the umpirical tall banding model, you can see that by changing one monolayer, you can change the energy at the, at the center of pre zone, the energy gap. But the beauty is that you increase the indium astronaut you, you don't change the balance path. Only conduction path is changing. The same thing if you increase gallium antimon. So for that, you can do the beautiful, again, gap, gap engineering as an example. Any variable that we want for the any on the substrate is a gallium antimon, and that we use the empirical to value for the, and we can see, show that the most important parameter that we have and after that, they grow with every orbit emotivity, doing the all of the compensation, optical, electrical, and not preparing the focal planets. What is the preferred weapon that the focal planets? It's artificial odds. And given of the odds, you prepare the semiconductor material, exactly the arrays of the detector. Equivalent of the brain, you are using the equivalent the arrays of the transistor. It's not mostly silicon. He said, we don't integrate the signal. So here, what we do, that is a very uh, sophisticated, you have to know that, that the central for quantum device is only one place in the board that you can see this kind of result that I'm showing you is coming out from. It's only in the board, because in all of the big company, as an example, the Teledyne, or the, 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 the Lockheed, or the Lotto Brahman, they made 200 in order to have one good with the mercury calculator rod, and again, the price is more than one million. So here, we have only the things that is come out from the, uh, the security is the result integrated circuit. Why? Because they are all of that is classified, and is the, 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 the special the salt that is coming for us, and that uh, the DOD are giving to us, and we are taking that set of our day. The, the, the teledon. So, equivalent of the odds. They give, they grow the material, and they do again the arrays of the pixel, the deepest pixel at the wavelength, 5 micron by 5 micron, 10 micron by 10 micron. And uh, equivalent of that, we have the, again, the G dot integrated circuit, the same source. So, we put that together, and we put the indium bomb on each one, on each transistor, and on each. 
the, the array is a, 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 the pixel of the, uh, the, the semiconductor. You put that together and you do the flexi bonding by the indium bond and you remove the substrate and you do the packaging and you do the, the, the image. So here, that is the road first, as you can see, mid wavelength and the long wavelength. And that is at the 80 dB. And look at the difference between mid for micron and that, and that the, by the way, my student, you know, the Philippe, uh, the, 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 the Pierre Colonnais, he's not the big boss at Atlantic Oil Express developing this, material, this kind of material. No, he would have to go to the one key, but one key that is the one that is very important again for Michael Kadokterot. You can see that it's a 19 micron field, and that at 18. One, again, that is a vote first, and that exactly did they talk to. No, it's completely important of this material is the following. We gave it, yes, okay. yes, that. So again, again, all of these vocabularies went to the, uh, the, uh, to the, the difference uh, to the, the government and at the center of DOD and the, the legal lab and at the center of the big companies such as Loki. The, the, the correctability and long-term stability. That is MCT, that is Mercury Catotero. Uh, that is Mercury Catotero and that is talked to Superlatis. You can see that for the two-point non-uniformity correction, is more again efficient to exactly as you can see after 24 hours, and that is NCT after five minutes. And for the stability, is much longer for the top two than in the multimolar that is one of it, and the maybe can to around five minutes. So that is the exactly one part. And on the other hand, the eyes has a trick on it. So that in order to have the best performance, you have to do the two column. That's the two column. Exactly the same. If you are growing the two different stage with the difference, they make that is a 30 micron, that is 9.5 micron, and the holding the narrow band filter in the hand. And you can see the difference. That is one camera. And look at that. Look at here. Okay, in this one, you can see that in the long way, the, the short way, you cannot see. That is, you can understand why all of that, especially for the, for the, for the application, especially for the military application, it's so important. No, they wanted exactly to stay up in the Europe to do that mid long, that is the long long, 9.4, uh, 30 more. And now going to the mid long, that is the board first again, 30 more long and 4.2 more. Look at the difference again. That is the same camera that you are looking, all right? And now, look at that here, again, for the filter. Okay, you can see that, all right? That's what you can see with the short and the, with the mid and the low. And now the problem is how we can go to the shorter vendor. We can do the atomic gap engineering of this trip or by again using the empirical type band model, increasing one, two, Monolayer inside the you want to increase the gap. So we can go again to the shorter paper. And the shorter paper here, look at that. You have 2.2 is the active, and it means that it is light, and the 4.4, that is the passive. And you can see here. Okay. And now all of that what happens exactly I'm going to the in now for the two color. That is again the two color that we use by changing only the difference the the difference the, the stack of the, the of the uh, top two the, the super lattice and that uh, by changing the voltage we can change and to have the three color. So all of that at the present time and the, 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 the big company and the center of the all of that is the unfortunately is uh, classified they are managing for the the three color with the with the legal integrated system. So the nurse okay gave the idea of 1971. It takes up to all of the different groups they were doing this project because when Nobel Prize doing it, that nobody could make focal planaries. And I was giving the talk again at SBOE, and one of the program managers from Air Force, the gate girl said that nobody can make focal planaries in this material. So two weeks later, we did that. 
because we had equity. That is the first and that the set of these students at the, at the LT, but he did one by one, and all of these students, exactly as you can see, not only they transport, they transfer the technology to the industry for the continuation, but the most important technology transfer is the indirectly that I am educating, not exactly you, all of you, the professor, educating great scientists and the great, uh, not only for the US for the poor. No, here that is, nobody could believe it at all, but no, they are using that NASA in the International Space Station and all of the replacement with the material showing that it's much more stable, much cheaper, and much better performance. And now in all of the new uh, the, the space shuttle that are going is replacing the material material. No, that is again the problem of the antimonon, exactly as you can see here, everything that you can see for the first, and it's continuing. At the present time in my group, you are continuing again some of the, uh, the new for the uh, player, and all of that, I'm not going to the detail here, only I would like to explain some future, because all of that you say that is, the future, what is that, is the really two part that is important. One is the very short wavelength that is very challenging to make quantum, the, the quantum laser diode with. And one is the in, in infrared terrorists that is, again, many applications, and unfortunately, is the challenging, is very difficult to make room temperature, again, um, very room temperature diode the, the laser diode and the, the, and the detector for to have the high power at the same time. So, by using the difference again, frequency, the, 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 the ex exquisite material and the innovative laser design, we succeeded by using the different frequency generation to how to come with the terrorists, laser diodes. Here we have the active point terrorists and the, 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 at the, at the present of we have 2.4 millivolt continuous band. But look at the, all of the people that are using the terrorized technology. Look at the waveguard. They take the party. And it's very interesting because that is the royal, <coughs> it changed the telecommunication, and that is changing really for the trials. That is future. And that is the continuous way. And we demonstrated that set of the white guy. Okay, the choice, you have to know that what is the problem of the choice. The price is very important. Why? Because the wavelength is very low and the energy is very low. So can go, can pass through the many substances such as textile, the, the, the sanity, and the board, and at the same time has the low energy, so no oil is in it. So it's excellent for the the security chain, or for the medical diagnosis. On the other hand, terrorist has much higher at the same time the frequency, much higher than those that you are using for the wireless internet at the present time. So by having the US, by having the, the, the terrorist dial with the room temperature, continuous way can change many things. That's the subject that we are looking at the present time with the the, the NSA, and that's the future. And on the other hand, we tried again for the optimizing in the quantum cascade, the, the third order, the, 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 the non-linear susceptibility. We did the board first, again, with the innovative design. The board first, <coughs> the terrorist, the terrorist frequency comes, and all of that, that are the future. And now, one thing, since the quantum cascade, for the different spectrum, is unlocked, Many, many problems they solve for the imaging and at the same time for the sensing. But on the other hand, is enable the fundamental science for the study, the interaction between light and matter. And at the same time, is go for the physical, chemical, and biological science across that has a lot of application. But what is the problem? Because we are using for in your first or gallium master, the fact between five terrorists and twelve terrorists, 
there is a parasitic phonon absorption in gallium arsenide and in the indophosphate. So this part is missing. And why? And that is coincident with the restaurant hauling band of the gallium, still part of the gallium uh, arsenide and indophosphate. And this, is this, this part has many, many applications. We need, and especially for the manipulation of the different atom of the quantum computing. So, and so what we can do, one of the, again, the application, it will be, again, how to use, how to use, again, the, the terrorist, and I'm going at the end to give you some ideas, again, for the chip fiber. So now, going to the deep UV, deep UV boy is so important, because there, there are so many interesting things that is coming, especially for the, you know, the, the space application. The ozone attenuate the wavelength between 240 to 320 nanometers. So the having, and that is the, the solar plant wind. So having the shorter, and the, 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 the shorter wavelength at this, the, at this the, the, the wavelength gain is very important for the application of space and especially everything that is passing in the solar cell, if the solar in the, the system, and that can that create a lot of problems for the Earth with the variation of ozone at the same time. But the most important part is the following. Because the UVC deactivates the DNA of the virus, bacteria, and pathogen to destroy their ability to multiply and to create disease. On the other hand, most of the biological agents fluoresce when they are excited by the UV light. So if you have the detector and exactly the wavelength, we can have a very small system that to detect, the, rapidly identify some, some of these biological the, the, the agents such as anthrax, COVID-19, tetratyrosine, the, the, in the uh, open day fluorescent signature. So again, for the again, we started at the same that the general came to Northwest. The first thing that I started it was the aluminum nitro and T nitro, exactly as you can see here. <coughs> that the the the, the, the DOD, they called me, can you do that aluminum nitro pita? So that some of you that you don't know about this material, how is the is difficult, is bad. We started and I, the, I designed again a special reactor for and that so that is the result. First we tried to have Exactly, because the three neutral opportunity, they, they have direct energy gap, but they have the not zinc plant, they are the wood soil crystal structure. And nobody can make it. the substrate from the no neutral aluminum neutral. So that is the challenge for all of the young generation for the future, because 50, 60 years, nobody can make it. So that is what we use the sapphire or the silicon substrate. And in order that uh, you know that you have the, the, uh, the, the, the make the defect, and that you have the dislocation, and that is the lattice mismatch, but we came with the lateral subtitial overgrowth of aluminum nitrogen on, on silicon and at the same on sapphire, and we make the detector, exactly as you can see, photo detector. That is the responsibility as motion of building with the solar plant here. By changing a few, you can see that by changing the composition of the aluminum in the gallium nitrogen, you can change and to have the different wavelength. And on the other hand, the same thing for the LED, because you cannot do lasers without detector. You have to have, because always, is a transistor creating at the same time the wave, creating the photon, but that is you have, if photon is go far, in order to catch it, you need the electron. It's, it's, it's finished, yes, absolutely. And so is that, that is very interesting to see that here, every non-plane of the sapphire is equivalent of the eight of aluminum nitrogen. So we make the way that you have the dislocation again, every non electron, nine plane, and not here, exactly as you can see, all of it you have the this LED that you can see. One is for the anthrax, and at the same time, each one with the fluorescence equivalent, and all of that, 
that is the force based biological and chemical sensing that is the future and everybody working. So when we did 280 at the time, nobody could believe, including at the at those places. But I was saying that is that but the Japanese and the Chinese, they can uh, the, the Korea, they can they shot that 280 nanometer LED that we make for the anthrax 15 years ago can keep coronavirus in less than one second, more than 99% on the earth and on the surface. So for that, I would love to come here and to say, to tell you, one of the possibility for the terrorists is to use the denitron. And that because in the denitron, and for that, what two, two things we need. One, we need to have the tunneling, and we need at the same time to have the Okay, to have the tunneling and at the same time the transport. So we demonstrated again the first the tunneling, resonance tunneling in gallium neutron, and that is related really how to control the defect. And for that, I would love to come and to say that, okay, that is exactly the, the why we need all of this. The UV detector, we have no time to go to the detail of that. Only I would love to explain to you one thing. When you are coming to the 2D material, in the 2D material that most of you, especially at the, uh, here in the Stanford, you are working, the first 2D material, it was with the poly 1923, that he came with the ideas of the 2D metal, the transition metal, because you use one of the transition D metal, and the, two, the, the, the shackers on the two combine with the two of the colonel. Uh, column six, uh, and in this case, you make the, the two-dimensional, that is the perfect, uh, again, the, 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 the cover of bonding, but you cannot have only one monolayer after that is the, uh, is the, uh, the bonder box form. So one monolayer is the semiconductor direct. But when you go to the two or three, in this case, they are become indirect, but you can, at the same time, you can do the, uh, the tuning. On the other hand, carbon, the, the metrophy, is exactly the same thing. That is the one of the best that we can. So all of that, they are the future generation, future material for the, again, quantum device that has application for everything. So in conclusion, I want to say that Okay, the inspiration comes from nature. Nature, everything that you have is based on the quantum. Everything, all of the sense, everything. And at the same time, I want to, all of the students, everybody to think, where is the source of the energy? The main source of the energy is the atom. It's the movement of the electron and the proton, the movement. If you stop the movement, that's the day, everything is finished. So that, but taking that, I would love to say that, we are following the nature, and that is to go, again, to have, to use nature as a, a source of the inspiration, and to come, we would love to have, again, more and more, to go to what the different materials, different technology, how to efficiently to combine the two, the, the transfer electron to photon, photon to electron, and to finally the carbon. By that, I would love to stop here, and thanks for your, your attention. Okay. If you have any question, I would be happy to answer them, please. And especially Professor, uh, <laughs> Professor David Miller, because that is the interesting to see that there are so many beautiful, really, the science that is coming to combine together, and that, uh, exactly as I mentioned, more we know, more the things that we don't know is increasing. And at the end, we become philosophical. It means that we know nothing about everything. It's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> so, Question, please. please. Just, just a comment. We yes, know nothing about everything, but the product is finite. <laughs> the product keeps growing. <laughs> yes, but uh, yes, it's growing, but the, the problem increasing at the same time. Yeah. You know, that is the, 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 that's the problem. 
Okay. The question from the student. Yes, please. When you, when you talked about the quantum cascade lasers at the beginning, the power outputs seemed very high. How, and you mentioned that there was a picture where there was a small laser and a, a large heat sink. How is most of the size of the laser just the heat sink? How, how do you handle the problems? Excellent question. Excellent question. It's not, it's not easy. First of all, you have to know that because we do a lot of, a lot of the physics understanding behind of that. So what we do, first of all, we try to have the structure to make the way that to be the quantum efficiency. It means that the wall block efficiency, the power that you are giving and the power that is coming off to be as high as possible. So, one of the beauty of the cheap parts of the conductors is that so that you can come and to manage to have very high internal quantum efficiency. And after that, that is the technology that is coming. Technology that is coming, if you put that heat sink as an example, if you have a little neutral, or you put that the carpet, or to put that the diamond, you can see that the diamond, you can have three times more power to come out Below to kill the benzene, it means that the heat, right, heat transfer. So we do electrical, optical, and thermal simulation. And for that, the thermal simulation is for how to increase the conductivity. The optical is how to decrease the loss. Electrical is how to organize the thickness, the composition, the doping, everything. You use the Schrodinger equation. And for the optical, you use the Helmholtz equation. You go for the thermal, thermal equation. So they are a lot of at the same time. The signs, this is behind, but on the other hand. That is complicated that you can see. You have to understand the physics behind of that. So when we do episode of, it means that the laser, that is very important for you. I'm going to send that center to all of you, the emotion because all of that is the, I explained to that. Okay. So if you do the episode up, the part of the, 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 the body, the thickness of the active layer, the, the, the substrate, is very hard. So the temperature between the top and the active layers is very high. But now if you do episode down, to bring that and to remove this object to be done, the temperature it becomes much less between the active layers and that. And after that, you do have the set of coating and, and all that, you are coming to have to bring as much as possible, exactly as we showed you, to bring the four watts and the continuous way. Again. In the parts, that is not available, but in continuous way, and as you can see. But there are a lot of physics, optimization, and the technology parallel in order to do that. But, and it was not, it's not very easy at the reason that I can okay, already explain to you what's the secret of the center that I'm explaining to you. Because when I was in France, everything that I was doing, I have to give to the another group for to do the measurement, another group to do the, 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 the processing, something that is happening at the present time in everywhere, especially in the big company. I came here to build the facility, as you can see, both the theory, material, organization, publication, the measurement, up to the system, everything is beating my own group, everything that I need. So we go from the, the, the theory up to the system. So, and with the rapid feedback, and by that, we can optimize and to be exactly this kind of research that we to make. Because that is an excellent question, because you have to know that exactly for the long wavelength, the one of the people, when you are bringing, you, you, you burn the surface, and the objective is, everybody wants the high power, high power, especially, you know, for the different application, because unfortunately, most of the application is going to the for the military, because for the medical and that, you don't need a lot of power. So, but, that, but that is exactly, this a lot of 
global cause and publication that you can see each each one they, again some of them they can publish and that the some of them are, is that, that at the same time in a, a book in the technology of the quantum device because there are not many textbook the textbook to speak about the chief one or all of this material that is the only thing textbook that you can see and that all of that is explained and we are continuing at the same time I hope that the answer to your question is not easy to ask me. So, is there any other question, please? And please don't hesitate, exactly. Absolutely, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, you have the question. I can see that from your face. Well, I, I'm actually new to the field, so I'm, I'm just trying to absorb everything. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not an optics student myself. I'm trying to learn more. Uh, yeah, okay. Professor, I have a question. Yes. Um, so, for the longest time in QCL, they've been using the standard 3.5 material. Is there some kind of a uh, push towards going towards maybe using nitride to have a larger band gap instead of... Uh, absolutely, as I explained, and there are some, uh, the, the, some uh, uh, Japanese that they leak on that they are But the problem is the following. Nitride is the food side, so there is no the cleavage plane. But another problem of the natural, from the gallium natural of the aluminum natural, all of this material is lattice mismatch feature. So that makes it very, very hard, and at the same time, for the substrate, because the substrate absorbs. But there are a lot of work is going, and we are hoping 